Success, Brill. Long ride? Yeah. Oh, from the look of you, I'd say you earn more comfort than that. I got some nice rooms upstairs. I appreciate it. Food and drinks all be want. Well, some uh, real friendly ladies, too. That's some peace and quiet for you. Know. Let me know if you change your mind. Hickok! <laughs> hey, Hickok! Remember Gabe Calder? He's a friend of mine. I don't want no trouble here, mister. Neither do I. Ain't right what you done to him, leave him with his hands like that. Ain't civilized. What's the matter with you, Hickok? You deaf? No, nope. just hungry. Hungry? I thought chickens only ate feed. Puck, 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 puck. You feel funny now. I feel mine. I'd appreciate it if you left. We can do our business in the street or right here. Makes no difference to me. I'll be right out. I reckon we'll have to trade for it again. This drought's killing me. Well, okay, Luke, but this can't go on forever. I know, I know. Same terms, 30 days. You gonna give me a chance to buy it back? Not for that. I got way more watches than I'll ever use already. Guess I could do it for the locket, though. Give it to him. It was my mama's. You can't just trade it away. Laura, you're just a memory now. I gotta eat. I can't. I won't. This is the only thing of hers I got left. Uh, maybe I could use that watch after all. I ain't looking for charity. Now, give it to me. No. Oh! Damn it, woman. Uh. Need to be doing this. What are you looking at? Huh? Get out of here! You leave us alone! <laughs> Mister, I'm sorry. She ran out of nowhere. There was nothing I could have done. She never hurt nobody. Why'd you have to kill her? Why? Get him, get him. Back off. Leave him be. Lady just came out of I've already been told that by people who saw. I want you out of here. Why, if you know what happened? Look, because of that, I don't lock you up. But I ain't looking for you to get in back shot either. At least not today. Now get out of here and don't show your face in Benton again. Business in the street, right here, 
Well, five and a half. What? We all getting raises? No, nope, better than that. I finally got a letter about that reporter Russell Majors and Waddell is sending out to document our way of life. What's it say? Well, I'll tell you. Seems that uh, Mr. Russell feels that the good folks back east should, and I uh, quote, um, be made aware of the hardships and sacrifices your boys and girl <clears throat> face on a daily basis in the tireless service of their country. Well, that sounds good to me, Teaspoon. Of course, no, Mr. Russell, as I do, I suspect his mind is less on documenting and more on publicizing. What's that, Teaspoon? Publicity? Well, you might say that's what folks do when they want to draw attention to something. You mean like when that Marcus fella wrote that book about Jimmy? Yeah, kind of. Why would anyone want to do something like that? Well, it ain't all bad, Lou. <laughs> What's for Jimmy? That's because the things Marcus said wasn't the truth. And publicity is the truth. Sort of. Stretched a bit. But not so as it'd take your head off. I knew a hangman once. Said the same thing about his rope. 